discovery, Jack. We take it for granted, but not all animals can do this. Some animals can only move in one direction, forwards. So today on Biology, we're going to look at the science of moving backwards. Perhaps one of the most unusual examples of walking backwards comes in the form of these moonwalker flies. They get their name, of course, from Michael Jackson. The incredible thing is these flies are heat activated. When the thermostat hits 30 degrees Celsius, they start going in reverse. But at 24 degrees, they're back to normal again. Scientists have been able to trace this behavior to specific neurons in their brains, handily called moonwalker neurons. And when they silence the neurons with toxins, the flies can't walk backwards at all. Next up, hummingbirds. They're the only bird species known to effectively fly backwards, and that's thanks to their specialized wings. And if it looks effortless, that's because for hummingbirds, it is. The birds use just as much energy to fly forwards as they do to fly backwards, and that's a good thing too, because flying backwards is a pretty darn necessary skill. Once they plunge forward to reach the flower's nectar, they have to be able to back up to get their beaks back out. Okay, so we've covered walking and flying, but what about swimming? Well, electric eels have got swimming backwards down. But why can they do it? Most fish, of course, swim forwards. But these eels move backwards for a particular reason. The ability to swim backwards lets them scan their prey with the electroreceptors on their body. If the eels could only swim forwards, well, once they'd finished scanning their potential meal, it would be behind them. So the ability to back up is key to their survival. So there you have it. We'd like to think that everything should naturally move forwards in our world. But of course, sometimes we all get things a little bit backwards. Okay, we're going backwards. We're now going to go forwards to learn some discoveries that are in the headlines today. All that stunning science for you tomorrow. See you then.